G'day, so uh, just making a quick video today on my struggles with leaf curl. So I've given this peach the full three treatments of copper, one spray while there was still the last leaves hanging on the tree, um, another spray, you know, middle of winter, um, another spray of copper about three weeks before bud burst. Uh, there was a lot of rain forecasted at the time, so I, um, you know, wanted to do it earlier to make sure there was a proper one on there. Then about two weeks later, so a week before bud burst, uh, there was a gap in the rain for a couple of days, so I gave it a, a sulphur spray. So yeah, I'm very upset that I've still got leaf curl after that. I even went to the length of uh, a lot of the graft scion material that I got. I um, sprayed it with sulphur as well before. So all the grass have taken on the peach and nectarine tree. Still waiting for some on the apples. But um, so the only thing I've got left to do now is just uh, remove these bits and hope it doesn't spread anymore. Um, no point at all spraying it at the moment because the um, fungus or the leaf curl any outs inside the leaves so yeah no point spraying just removing I'll get to that okay so I've um, removed a fair bit of branches all together um, any leaf curl that I could see around or starting um, I'll look at it many times throughout the day and over the next couple of days and remove whatever else I've found uh, but in some cases I'll just strip back all the leaves, hopefully the new leaves that will regrow won't have the problem. At the same time I've uh, removed some sections, oh, see there's some some more, I'll go over that again. Uh, then with some of the grafts I've just removed some sections completely to um, prompt growth to the graft. So that's valley red up there, that's also valley red, Anzac peach. Donut, JH Hull, uh, there's a whole bunch around. So, anyhow, hopefully, I've, uh, if I keep at it, I'll get on top of the leaf curl. Have a good one.